Yo, look who it is. Look who it is. It's Nova Prime. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Actually, I don't really know anything about Nova Prime, but I'm just excited that it's a dude in armor. Yes. I actually am a huge fan of the new War for Cybertron Magnus and all the armor gimmick. And just to see a guy clad in so much bright white. You know, it's not actually bright white. Well, we'll have to see when I open the toy, but still. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Like, I don't even know a ton about Nova, but to me, it just looks like the white Magnus finally got his day. You know, the little in inside prime. And, um, dude, wow. Wow. So cool. I mean, yeah, it's a super duper retool of um, Galaxy Universe Prime, but I'm not hating on that. I'm not hating on that. Dude, yo, hold on for a second. Imagine if we took this dude and, oh, by the way, this is an unboxing and a reaction. Yeah, but I'm sure you figured that out. Imagine we took this dude and we started swapping in some of the Galaxy uh, Universe Primes part. You would have this cool, like, red and white deco. Dude, I am definitely trying that when I get home. And I can't wait to open this. And, dude, I have been loving these new boxes, the clamshell boxes. Uh, there's the other one. Hold up for a second. The first one was this that I got, you know, and this is phenomenal. I love this box. I'm not going to throw away. I throw away the other boxes, but clamshells, dude, dude, there's utility in them, you know? And so, yes, he is also a clamshell box and uh, art style. Whoa. Hey. Hold up for a second. Who are these guys up there? That's Megatron over there, right? Is that Ratbat? Senator Ratbat? Oh, yeah, it is Senator Ratbat. And then there's um, Senator Shockwave and then Opax. Oh, that's Minor Megatron. Oh, okay. Okay, dude. Thought we stumbled upon some crazy stuff. Some, like, hidden Easter egg. And, man, <laughs> I was about to go ballistic hype right now. Like, oh, my God, we cracked the code. But, uh, no, nah, those dudes have already been released. And so, anyway, without further ado, Bobo, let's crack this dude open. Hmm. Blip, 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 blip. Dude, and despite me being ultra tired right now after work, and it's not because I've had a long work day. Yo, we had team building, and we went to this spot called Ten Butchers, and it's like a super swanky. Oh, more of this clamshell, this little coffin thingy on the inside. I don't think this is supposed to work like this, though. Like, I, I feel like this is supposed to be depressed. You know, it's supposed to be pressed in to hold this thing in place, but... uh. Whatever's clever. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, we, we had a team building and then we went to like Korean barbecue. Dude, I ate hella food. I ate hella food. I'm about to yak right now, dude. And that's why I'm so tired right now. But I was falling asleep all day. All day. But um, I'm vibing and jiving right now. Uh, we got all these like toilet paper things. And uh, it's really soft, honestly. <laughs> it's really soft. I've, I've had worse toilet paper before, like stuff that gave you splinters. This stuff is actually not bad compared to that. I mean, honestly, it feels really, really soft. Oh, but this is so strange. I mean, I, I guess I'm wrong. I, I guess it's meant to be housed in the way it's housed. But for some reason, this thing, this thing does weird. Like it, my brain can't function properly when I see this. And uh, the same thing happened when I opened the other box. I just... Oop, sorry about that. Threw me for a loop, as they say. Uh, but we got the instructions over here. And uh, the savior, that little piece, piece of paper that we use to uh, tighten up the, um, the tolerances and the fits. And uh, I'm, still, I'm still touching this nice soft tissue paper. <laughs> I'm going to save it for a camping trip. Oh, wait, hold on for a second. Sorry about that. Let me, let me adjust the camera. There we go, Johnny. What we got in here? What we got in here? What we got? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What we got? So we got the little side guns. Cool. They look the same, but this, this is the first time that they're cast in this color. Um, most of them are just stark black. I think premium, premium finish Magnus might have darker gray ones. And then we have the little uh, arm bits that came for Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Universe Prime. And these shoulder bits. Yo, these are gnarly, man. These are gnarly. Can't wait to mess with these. And then we have his little pew pew. So. So I'm going to take this and go to the bathroom. And I'll be right. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Let's open this up. <laughs> I can't get over how soft this is, dude. <laughs> Which means I've just been buying cheap toilet paper. Wow. Alright, let me move this to the side. 
Yeah, man, he's all like mummied up. And, uh. The work homie just looked at me. <laughs> They're leaving because uh, my office is next to one of the exits where people park. And so, uh. They just gave me the glance. They gave me a glance, a wink, and a smile. Like, you do you. You do you, bruh. And I'm like, heck yeah. That's all I can do. And I encourage everyone to be themselves. Yeah, you be you. I be me. We be we. Um, whoa. He even got these, like, white, like, twist ties or whatever they call them. It's kind of interesting, right? Like, they could have gone with just the brown ones. Uh, but, yo, it's all, like, color-coordinated and stuff. Uh, give me one second while I grab some scissors. One second. One second. I know it's more than a second, but you know, it's a figure of speech. What we got over here? What we got over here, bud? You know, I've always wanted to learn how to do a Brooklyn accent. You can't really do it except like, yeah, or like Boston. They park the car. Oh, I, I love accents, uh, regional dialects, and uh, wish I could do a New York one. All right. All right. Let me adjust the camera one more time, my friends. All right, that was a really poor rendition of a video game song. Who can guess what that is? Yeah, who can guess what that is? I did a really bad job, so kudos to you if you can guess that. Um, wow, wow. You know what? For some reason, when I'm looking at him, like he doesn't seem as tubby as the other guys, and maybe it's because he doesn't have the um the thick forearm armor as Magnus and shoulders too. But let's let, let start putting this stuff on. Let's start dressing him up. He's like, I'm cold, man, and I'm like, wait. We'll get to it. So it hooks in and plugs in just like the Galaxy Prime armor. So if you're familiar with that, you'll be familiar with this. I think I got it fully in there. And he's kind of coming together now. Dude, I really like this. I love the um I love the the, the color on this, the, the gold and then the white. It reminds me of um during Combiner Wars, there was a white Optimus Prime torso. I don't remember what his designation was. But I remember he was also this color scheme, white and gold. And what I did at that time is I combined him with uh, four grooves. And I called it Groove Theory. And so he was all white and gold and black. That was pretty cool. But all right. All right. So, I don't know. I don't want to stick these on here. Just looking at him, dude, he looks dope. He looks dope, dude. The chest armor is awesome, dude. Like, I'm digging this. And you know what I'm also thinking of doing? Oh, please tell me there's a screw. Yes, yes. The reason I said screw is um, as much as I'm a big fan of the pop and swaps, I always worry that I'm making the head head connection and the neck connection kind of loose. Um, so there is a screw in there, but I can also see that the, that the screw head is slightly, uh, what is it? What do they call it? Stripped, yeah. But, and you're, you're probably asking, like, why do you want to remove this guy's head? Well, one, I'd be able, I'd love to be able to use that head for some builds that I have. But two, I would love to put a Megatron on here. Um, the combat Megatron with the white head, that would be awesome. That would be sick. Oh, yes, Primus. There's a five milli. Five milli, baby. Milli vanilli, five milli. Whoa. And why? I want to extend his wings. Dude, you know DNA. You know those dudes who make the upgrade kit? You know when they saw this, that was like, that's our entry point, boys. That's our entry point, and they're probably going to get it to connect into this empty negative space right here. I can see that, because I would have done that if I know how to like design things. And I actually wish this wasn't here. That'd be kind of cool if you could see the wings a little bit more um, independent. Um, but yeah, I could see DNA, DNA design going nuts on this. Um, before I had purchased some of the knee extender or excuse me, the thigh extenders. And, um, I don't know, every time I bought them, I, I didn't really like him. So I'm not going to do that for him. I actually think minus the wings, he, I think minus the wings, he's quite proportionate. Um, and I like him a lot, man. I like him a lot. I would say this is probably, I mean, it might be a recency bias. I'm inclined to say that this is my favorite version of, you know, the armor up gimmick. Um, hmm. 
I love the gold fingers. I love the gold accents on this, man. And this, like, gray is like this. It has this weird, like, slight blue tint on it. Do you see it? It's not like this is gray, and this is not necessarily gunmetal, but it's getting there. But this is this, like, blue tint. And, um, dude, I'm just loving all the color contrast, the coordination. And um, but you know what? Let me see what the what the prime looks like on the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, but still, even this is nice. Even this is nice. Should we take out the backpack? See what it looks like. Let me, let me just see what the head looks like. Um, plastic is you know part of the course. Feels all the same stuff. And uh, dude, Magnus never looked better, dude. dude he's nice, dude. Dude, he looks like royalty, dude. Like royalty, ultra extra Magnus plus Ultra Magnus. For those of you who watch uh, My Hero, I, I stopped watching My Hero. By the way, they're just they just started extending the episodes out, like old Dragon Ball Z or, or Dragon Ball rather. And um, I wasn't feeling that. No, he's good, man. He's good, dude. Wow, wow. In terms of like bot bending and like fan moding, look at all the colors we compare him with: dark grays, whites, gold. Dude, I may go try enhancing this um, with Black Rorichi. Might might try that tonight. I might be able to actually extend the wings. Uh, if you guys remember, like, um, I did the Astro Train custom, or fan mode, rather, with uh, uh, Fast Track. And um, we used the Fast Track le legs. I don't know. I used something to make these wing appendages. I'm pretty sure I could do something similar here. Oh boy, am I excited! Boy, boy, am I excited! All my fatigue just went vent, vent. I was about to say vanished, though. I was like, that is not a word. It it vanished, and um, now I'm I'm feeling juiced right now. Feeling very, very lively. Hmm. Hmm. A beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. And um, yeah, I can't wait to mess with this guy. Even this stuff, I'll be able to like, you know, add so many different things to this build. And, yo, we're going to have a blast. We're going to have a plast. plast. Uh, so stay tuned. And, um, yeah, I'll bring you all some cooking soon. And so I appreciate you all being here and sharing and donating your time. It is your most precious currency. And I do not take that lightly. The fact that you are here, especially, especially for those of you all who watch to the end. You don't know how much you help this channel grow. You really, really do because of the relevance and the algorithm, the retention, all of that is made possible by you. So thank you so much. And, um I'll talk to everyone. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.